There are seven mattes and seven metallics in this palette, and Norvina says that she would wear this palette any time of the year, any day. And for those of you who don't know who Norvina is, which you probably obviously do know who she is if you are makeup obsessed, she is the president of ABH. So she creates some really awesome things for the company, and I love her visions, how she brings them to life. It's pretty inspiring, and she's like a unicorn, so of course we had to definitely get a purple palette from her. All right, you guys, so before we jump into the tutorial, be sure you like this video if you are enjoying it so far, and smash that subscribe button if you want to see more makeup tutorials from me. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, you guys, so here's what the palette looks like on the outside, is their felt packaging. All of their palettes usually look like this, not color-wise, but the way they feel really soft. If you have a lot of ABH palettes and you're familiar with the packaging, it's super soft. This is the Soft Glam palette. So if you have this, then you know this feels like exactly the same. And it says Norvina across the front. I really love the color of this palette and overall just the color story in general. It's really cohesive with the outer packaging. It almost looks identical to the shade Soul that's inside. And I think that the way this is laid out, it really draws me to the purples and the pinks. And those are the more pops of color in this palette. Everyone loves neutral shades to wear every day. And I really like that that's in there as well as the pops of color. And I also really like the pops of color are not crazy pops of color. You guys know I love colorful eyeshadow a lot, but I like that these are really wearable pops of color so more people can actually wear them and feel comfortable in them. There's also a mirror inside so you can do your eye makeup. And there is of course the double-ended Anastasia brush. I also think this palette is just overall a really good representation of ABH and how they do like to throw in pops of color, but it's still neutral, it's still wearable, it's still not too, too crazy. And Soul is the kickoff color of this whole palette. That is what this palette is kind of centered around. And I really am excited to be playing with the color Soul today. It's just a really pretty muted purple color. So for any eye look, I love using the Urban Decay Eden Primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my lid and blend out with a big brush. So the first shade I'm gonna pick up is this shade called Love, and I'm gonna go ahead and start blending this into the crease using the double-sided brush that's in the palette. What I'm already noticing with this color is that it's really pigmented and you definitely don't need a lot, so I would just suggest dipping in once or twice, definitely not more than that, and then just blending that out. And I'm just blending up into the crease and on that outer corner, kind of bringing the shadow out, really diffusing it. So now I'm gonna grab the shade Soul and I'm gonna go right back over the crease and on the outer corner with this color. And I'm just blending around the edges just to make everything kind of pop a little bit more with that pink color. One thing I really love about this palette is there is a blending shade that you can pop in your brow bone. So I'm gonna pick up the shade Base. This is a really pretty eggshell color you can use to soften up anything. I'm gonna go ahead and place that on the brow bone and then blend a little bit into Love and Soul. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the shade Love again and I'm just gonna blend this into the inner portion of the eye around the brow bone area and this is gonna bring a lot more of that pink color into the look. So next I'm gonna be cutting out my crease using the P. Louise base. And we're just gonna be doing a half cut crease, so I'm not gonna cut the lid completely. So I'm first gonna pick up the shade Wild Child on a flat brush, and I am gonna wet my brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the inner portion of the lid that I just cut out. I'm just gonna go in with my finger over that with some more Celestial and just pack that right on the outer corner, kind of blending everything together. Using a really thin Kevin Aquan concealer brush, I'm gonna pick up the shade Volatile and I'm gonna go ahead and run that into the crease really lightly and I'm gonna be drawing in my crease. Now taking a small blending brush, I'm gonna pick up the shade Passion, which is this really pretty, almost like a reddish brown. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend into the crease. And I'm just circling this into that shade Volatile really, really lightly. 
And now I'm just gonna add in a simple black wing using some black liquid liner. All right, so now I'm gonna pop on some mascara and some lashes and then we'll do the lower lash line. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna pick up the shade Love and I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke that on the entire lower lash line. I'm next gonna pick up the shade Soul and I'm just gonna go ahead and layer that onto the shade Love. This is just gonna build some depth in that lower lash line. I'm gonna pick up the shade Drama, which I feel is definitely the deepening and darkening shade in this palette. It's a really pretty, almost like a wine eggplant shade. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on the lower lash line just to really darken up the lash area and kind of bring some depth to that lower lash line. This is a really pretty metallic color, but you can deepen up the look with it because it is dark enough. And for the inner corner highlight, I'm gonna grab the shade Dreamer, which is a really pretty champagne tone. I feel like it kind of reflects a pink color. I'm gonna go ahead and place that right on the inner corner of the eye. And then I'm just gonna add in some nude liner and mascara. All right, you guys, so the eyes are done and I grabbed some of my favorite products from Anastasia that I really love. And I have been using this blush kit for so long now. I got it last October and I just love these colors. I use them literally all the time. And my favorite is this light pink in the Radiant Blush Kit from Anastasia. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the shade Spoiled. I'm just going to apply this to the cheeks. And now for highlight, I'm gonna use probably one of the best highlighters of all time. I'm gonna be so sad when this highlighter is gone. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy highlighter. And I literally have to convince myself to use other highlighters because I have so many of them. But this one, I just keep coming back to. I love it. The color of it is so, so nice. And it's just all around amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight with this today. You just can't beat that glow that this highlighter gives. It's like unbeatable. And for lips, I'm gonna go in with the ABH lip gloss in the shade Candy. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the Peony gloss right in the center of the shade Candy. And now I'm just gonna set everything with some MAC Fix Plus. All right, you guys, so this is the final look, and I'm ready to give you my final thoughts on the ABH Norvina palette. All right, so let's talk about the blendability of the shadows. I really thought they blended really nicely into each other, and the colors complement each other so well. Everything in this palette just goes together, and I really didn't have trouble placing colors and blending them together. They blended really beautifully into each other because I feel like a lot of these colors complement each other. One thing I really love about this palette is that it's a cool toned palette. We have seen so many warm toned palettes and I love warm tones, but I'm really excited to finally have like a cool toned palette. I like that there is a variety of colors. There's purples, but there's also more kind of neutral wearable colors. And I do feel like even though there are purples and pinks in this palette, they are wearable purples and pinks. They're not like over the top or crazy. So for most people, it's not as intimidating as like a really vibrant, crazy, pink or purple, like really, really fluorescent colors. These are wearable shades. How I like to work with their shadows is I just work in really small portions. I take little bits at a time because their shadows are so pigmented. I feel like they're really nice for makeup artists, makeup lovers, and people who do kind of more like heavier looks. You can use a lot less product. You don't need to use a lot. So these are kind of a different formula that a lot of people are not sure how to work with, but you just need to go little tiny bits at a time and you can build up that color in little tiny sections. If you go in with a lot, a lot of pigment all at once, because these are so pigmented, it's gonna be harder for you to blend out. So you need to use less product. So I think that's the key to using these palettes is just using a lot less product than what you're used to. But I still think this palette is on brand. It still is very wearable. And I feel like that is what ABH likes to come out with as far as palettes. I think their last really 
kind of colorful palette was their artist palette and I have like all ABH palettes I've purchased them myself I don't work with the company so I do purchase everything from them on my own and when I saw this palette I like totally needed it in my life because you guys know I love purples pinks that is totally my thing and I was so in love with this when I first saw it. I thought it was just really really pretty very final final thoughts is I love this palette I thought it was really beautiful and I really loved the colors so much I think it's gorgeous and Norvina you did that all right so I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful I hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me I hope you all have an amazing rest of your week and I will see you in my next tutorial